Maya? I want to record what you say, Angela, because I know you go into prophetic word. So go ahead. My father, my father has promised an inheritance to Messiah and that is the nations. And as you release the decree, the light, the light, it was a lot. It, it was as if the light that was being released, the shine, Jesus shine, was the same word our father released in Genesis, let there be light. And as light penetrated, <laughs> as light penetrated the nations, it was a cleansing and a purging so that these nations would become sheep nations. Ah, oh, I don't have any more to say. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else have something to say that you know? I think what is so valuable about this group, and I commend you, Jackie, because it wouldn't have happened had you not modeled it before us, is that oftentimes you present a problem. I don't feel any conviction. I may have even repented for it before, but as I hear others pray and a little bit of their story comes out in their prayer and they go into travail and a deep repentance, it sparks it in me. And then I see it in me and it's so valuable. It is so valuable. I just really appreciate everybody's, whether you ever realize what you said had an impact on the rest of us, it does. It helps us travail at a deep level. Thank you, Angela, for your word. Amen. I really, I know the Lord has called me to the highway of holiness and I know that. And I know there are people who are being drawn to our prayer group from all over the world because of it. I get messages from South Africa and they'll say, you are my lifeline. This group is my lifeline. And I thank the Father, because it's only the work of the Father that could do this, and understanding. You know, in the strangeness of the night, the strangeness of the night. But as, as we were repenting, I remember one of the things that Alan Smith said, that he will not take a stand in the church against abortion. And he said, I don't do it because I don't know that abortion is wrong. My heart is for the women in the church who've had aborted. And I don't want them to feel like they don't belong. And my response in my heart when he told me that was, you just have to know how to pray for them. You just have to have people prepared. You can speak, but you have to have people prepared to help them. But being a man and being a farmer, you know, he doesn't, it's not his strength. It's not his strength. So I really do want to thank all of you. This Grace Corps, we're truly, we truly are a core of grace. We're military in our repentance, in our pursuing of grace. And yes, there was a major breach in the wall. And I have no idea what this all means. I, I have stopped trying to figure anything out. I have stopped all timing. I've stopped all how this is going to happen. I've just stopped all of it. I'm just resting in him. It's the only place I can rest. And I was sleeping last night. I really was. But I truly believe the church has been hamstrung by this. Their, their hamstring had been severed and they could not stand, walk, or run. Amen, amen, amen. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll just believe the Holy Spirit that somehow between now and then. Huh? I'll stop the recording.